Well, hello again. Uh, here we are with another yes or no question. This is a big one. I know I've said this before, but this may be the biggest one. I said that about what is a god. You might take a look at that one, actually. Uh, but this one might even be bigger. So what is it? Here's the question. Can we be happy? Well, uh, there have been a lot of distinguished, literate, articulate people who have had something to say about this. Um, uh, uh, Freud started the ball rolling. He, he, he said it's really what everybody wants. There, there can be no doubt. People want to know uh, what it is that will make them happy and how to achieve it. He said there, there's just no doubt about this. this. This is what people want. This is what directs them. The philosophers have majored on this. Some would say the whole point of philosophy is how can we be happy, it is the pursuit of happiness. Uh, Bertrand Russell, who was probably the most uh, preeminent recent philosopher, certainly the, the 20th century, uh, said that what we need is the to be seen to be valid, to be uh, the kind of person that's uh, admired, not ignored, uh, loved, and so forth by other people. We, we, we see our lives in terms of what other people perceive in us and what they think of us and so forth. And if that's, hmm, if that's pretty good, we're, we're likely to be happy. If that's awful, uh, if we see that people are uh, looking down their noses at us or rejecting us or in any way destroying our self-esteem, esteem, we're going to be unhappy. It's as simple as that. that, that that's what uh, Bertrand Russell says. Now, we all know about uh, people who divide up on so those who see the proverbial glasses half empty or half full that are that are pessimists or optimists uh, you, you know plenty of them there are some people that are always kind of gloomy no matter what you say to them they'll have a, a down sort of negative uh, pessimistic view of what's going to happen and others who even to a fault will say no matter what everything's going to be better uh, and I'm going to make it better, and that's the way I choose to see the world. People uh, more or less divide up into those two groups. Uh, some are kind of in between, but, but uh, that, that, that's really what this is about. It's about uh, the, these two groups of people, really. So, what is it about this whole question that, that evokes a positive response? What about those who say, uh, yes, we can be happy. Yes, we can be happy. Well, uh, to begin with, uh, a lot of those people will, will say, well, first of all, just look at the opposite. Look at those people who uh, are down, who don't like anything, uh, who are uh, opposed, as it were, to happiness they're unhappy uh, and they've made that choice uh, that's a very foolish choice on their part uh, and uh, if they only could uh, change their view see the light they'd be a lot happier so I'm really demonstrating the fact that uh, it, it is possible to uh, be happy simply by virtue of deciding not to be unhappy um, there's a second way of thinking about this question about how to be happy, and that is the notion that uh, there are lots of things we can do to make us happy. So if you believe that, if you decide to partake in those things, you'll be happy. You'll be a lot happier than you would be if you didn't. <laughs> so what are some of those things you can do? Well, I guess we all know uh, what they are. Uh, you can walk down the street with a smile on your face. I know that sounds kind of corny, but do you ever walk down the street and see people that look kind of hostile and alienated and, and angry? 
And then you see somebody walking along with bright, smiling eyes, uh, having a bit of a laugh, uh, looking around them optimistically. You just know that between those two individuals, the, the, the first is probably unhappy and the second is happy. Just a simple thing like smiling. Uh, of course, uh, being engaged with other people, uh, nurturing and cherishing friendship is, is another one of the keys. Sometimes in order to keep one's friends, one has to kind of work at it, you know? You've got to uh, check into Facebook every day, uh, uh, as we say, I suppose, during the COVID virus. And then as soon as, they, as, soon as the uh, restrictions are released upon us, maybe we can uh, meet with them and, and have, have a good time. So it's the, 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 the company and affection and interest of, of friends is, is another way we can do it. So uh, we know that we can be happy because we have seen in our own experience, that experience demonstrated. We feel good when we're with friends. They make us happier. <laughs> Uh, and when we don't see them, we are a little bit mm, glum and despondent. So, so uh, nurturing, cherishing, engaging with friends is another way, another way to do it. Another way is, uh, gosh, I'm real, a real believer in this: is get exercise, get out there. Uh, the endorphins that uh, many athletes and runners and walkers even experience uh, uh, does something uh, mysterious mysteriously chemical or something in in the brain and, and makes you feel good um so in, in in a sense that's a it's a kind of a a scientific uh, a, approach to uh being happy it is an available tool uh, you can be happy get out there and exercise uh and as part of that get outdoors smell the daisies uh, do all that kind of stuff uh, and I suppose most of all, most of all, the biggest uh, secret to uh, being happy and, and to proving that you can be happy is just deciding to be happy. I've known people in my life who uh, have had tribulations of a major sort, have had some terrible experiences, a series of deaths in the family. A friend of mine went through that uh, not too many years ago. And that person just simply decided to be happy. That person was really a nice person to be around and could have been real, it could have been a real downer of being around that person uh, if, if, if they had decided to treat things differently, but they didn't. They had decided to be happy. They are a living demonstration of the fact that we can be happy. So that's kind of the case, that's the case. Okay, what about those who say, uh, no, we can't be happy? Uh, well, there's uh, a lot of kind of ideological uh, and even um, scientific bases for some of this position. Um, for example, uh, there are those who would say that uh, adaptation and so forth <clears throat> uh, in a Darwinian way, you know, the whole selfish gene, the whole process of uh, your environment affecting the way you uh, behave and the way in which your uh, species survives, uh, actually argues against being happy. If you're much more pessimistic and cautious, you're probably more likely to uh, avoid danger. Uh, and uh, you're therefore much likely to survive as are your descendants. <laughs> uh, well, another one is uh, kind of the religious view, perhaps even the sort of the fundamentalist religious view. Uh, well, um, ever since Adam and Eve, when Eve bit the apple and all that sort of thing, uh, I'm afraid we've been cursed. Um, and uh, of course, uh, Jesus died to save us and so forth. But but uh, nonetheless, we still bear that burden. We are damned, we are bad people. Uh, and uh, how can we be happy with that kind of burden, with that kind of heritage behind us? Uh, just simply yeah, not possible. Um, another one uh, derives from a famous novel, Brave New World, Aldous Huxley. 
and uh, he he was, I guess, really pessimistic about this whole subject. Um, what he saw in the future, he saw a world evolving uh, toward a place where, for people to be content and relaxed, they they'd have to take a pill, soma. <laughs> And uh, in so doing, um, you know, they wouldn't feel too bad, uh, you know. Um, they wouldn't feel particularly uh, ambitious or excited about getting out and, and confronting the world. They would kind of be passively um, uh, kind of content. Uh, and uh, I guess he was implying that given a choice between being uh, torn apart and pessimistic and and uh, worried and fretting all the time and being kind of uh, sort of lethargically uh, pleasantly relaxed uh, they'd take the pill well dear me uh, I guess what that says is that the uh, one's place in the world is is pretty awful um, another view on, on this uh, thing is the current state of uh, where the world is now uh, you can look around you and see a lot of things that uh, might argue for being unhappy. Uh, for example, uh, the whole notion of globalism, capitalism, communism, socialism, fascism, and so forth, they all seem to fa they have failed as, as uh, 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 ways to organize humanity. We, we just don't know how to do it. Oh dear, how awful is all of this? On top of which, we have uh, the, the problem that seems to be getting worse and worse all the time, that, that there's going to be disease spreading around the world. We don't seem to be able to operate fast enough to stop it. We've certainly had the most crippling uh, situation imaginable with the coronavirus. It's ground the whole world economy to a halt. We don't even know when we're going to get out of it. On top of that, we have uh, terrible air. I mean, uh, in some cities, uh, people are, are dying by uh, respiratory conditions uh, in mass numbers. And then, of course, there's global warming. Uh, pretty soon, the whole place is going to be flooded. My goodness, what, what an awful world we live in. Uh, how can you possibly be happy in in? in a world like that. It's just so terrible, uh, it, it's just unimaginable. Well, now there are some arguments, uh, you know, I suppose, alas for some people, very persuasive arguments about why we can't be happy. Well, oh, that was exhausting. Um, so uh, what do I think? What's, what's my take about this whole thing? Well, I guess I, I go back to uh, just a very simple principle, and that is that it's certainly been my experience and, and my experience in watching others, people that I've known very well, uh, that you can make a decision about this. You can decide yourself whether you're going to be happy or unhappy. It is within your power to do that. Even if you have had travails of a high order, even if you see the world as replete with many problems. You can take the view that one way or another we're going to survive them, we, we will have solutions to them, we're working hard, we're doing our best. You can take that view or you can take the negative view and say it's all awful, I feel awful, I can't be happy and so forth. It's your choice. Believe it. Act accordingly. <clears throat> if you're seeking to be happier, uh, make a list of all of the things you can do to be happier. I've suggested just one or two, but there are plenty of them. Uh, Google it uh, and just get on with it. Take responsibility, take charge of your own life. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Words of wisdom from me, I hope you think they are. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for that. Uh, the usual thing, uh, please uh, uh, subscribe, comment, notify, uh, and, uh, and give me a like, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.